Hello and welcome. My name is Klaus Ibsen. So I just want to show a new feature coming in Camel 4.2 to be released very soon. So when we maintain um, Camel products, we get issues reported by users. And here's one example of that. It's a bug in Camel JSON path. The user has reported a Camel snippet, a Camel route, how to reproduce that. It's in YAML, but it could be in something else. But and the user has been using the awesome product called Camel Caraman to create an integration in YAML. So to for me or for the maintainers of Camel and you as well, you can easily run this by just copying it to your clipboard and go here and say Camel run. Then the name of the file is clipboard, sort of like a magic name and .yaml because that's the extension. And this is what I often do is to reproduce these bugs on the latest Camel version, um, Camel 4.2. You can sure enough there was an exception, something is wrong, but it may be okay. Now I know there's something wrong. Let me see if I can um, uh, find out more. So what I will do is to uh, when you run the clipboard as clipboard, then the file is stored in this secret uh, hidden folder. But let me move the file out to uh, look to the directory here. So then I have it locally. I can play with the file. I can do whatever I kind of want and modify and so on. So now I want to see what goes on. So I can actually debug this file. This is a new command, camel debug, and then the route. Now camel runs this integration, but with route debug enabled in the terminal, so there's no need to use a code editor like VS Code or IntelliJ. Um, just to as a quick way to, you know, debug your camera routes and better understand what's going on, uh, as you can do in big editors. So here uh, the the integration is started. It's um, is the brick one is set on the first incoming. This this one is starting from a scheduler. Okay, um, I can see here the breakpoint. I can see some information from the camel itself the exchange ID, uh, the message, and the body is of course empty because it's just been created. Here, been created. The route ID, the, this means incoming. Uh, and I can see the source code here on line five in the YAML file. And then I can enter. I can go to the next uh, step in the route. This is to set header. Okay, I can see here now the header was set and I can see the header here is a string content type application JSON and uh, the, these up here are the previous steps you know the incoming and the from and the set header so you can easily follow what's going on now you want to set a body okay the body is set you can see it's changed here it's a string some value JSON okay now it calls a remote HTTP service to get a response the response is now here this is from the uh, HTTP service it's also in JSON error code error message empty and here you can see the uh, HTTP headers from the remote service. And these two are from Camel itself to give you the status code 200, okay. And now the next one is where the debug is because it was in JSON part, here, the JSON part expression, uh, trying to extract that uh, a summary leaf, which are not present. Now it executes and now there's an exception. Now the screen is too big, so I can scroll up a little bit to see here. So this one will actually say to you, the exchange is complete, but read with a failure. This means complete, completed, exceptions. Uh, you can see here the uh, uh, stack trace. So basically you can see here, this is from the JSON part engine 245, cannot read message body as supported. So something happens there that has a bug. This is a quick way to try that. But now let me jump into the editor and then find the bug and see what goes on. So I can go into the editor. Let's say I just want to go here and set a breakpoint. Oh, damn idea. Let me just, there's a little bug in Antenna J that won't set breakpoint. Now I set a breakpoint. Now I actually want to run this in Java debugging. The previous thing we saw before was camel route debugging not to it's not the same as java debugging so i can go here and say 
Now I want to run this file, but with JVM debug mode. This starts the integration, but with remote Java debugging uh, on port 4004, the same as JBang. I can go in here, change the con and enable remote Java JVM debug and on port 4004 and then set run and then it connects and then I can you know source code I can see the, the incoming is a JSON byte array I can step in the code um, basically what I can see is that there's null as the answer but camel will then throw an exception now the problem or the bug is that there is a way in JSON path to say that null is a valid action, a valid answer, if you set the option called default path left to null. And this is actually what the user is doing in the in the uh, in the file. So he turned on this. So this one is the problem is that we should actually detect that this option was enabled and that the null is a ac accepted answer and as you can see we have the fix here of course so i just go back to enabling the fix and then i can uh, just rebuild without testing yeah <laughs> but you know we have a test for that and then i can run it again and it should work this time um, it will basically just uh, print because the answer is null then there's nothing to print in the in the console and if I debug it just want to show you that again so now we debug using the camel t terminal debugger uh, let's see here we call this P we set the property and now we complete we go to the next one to the lock you can see the log up here. Yes, the this one will update itself, and now it's completed successfully. It's green. The arrow points to as a response. So this is a way for you to kind of go. And just before closing up, let's say that you have a large route and you just don't want to go through all these steps all the time before invoking something. Let's say you want to set a breakpoint on line twenty-seven. So you can actually say. Uh, breakpoint equals 27 uh, and let's see if the command is correct um, so basically just the line number on line numbers you can have multiple separated by comma and then you know um, camel will then stop but this is line number 27 it jumps immediately there you can see it and then you can go okay what happens and so on so this is um, the camel debug is a tool that we're going to use ourselves to quickly uh, try out stuff, see what's going on, get a better overview, and then when you really need it, then you can step into a, a Java-based editor like IntelliJ or Eclipse or Visual Studio. Um, now, for camel route debugging, those plugins in uh, IntelliJ and Visual Studio also have you know camel plugins you can install that allows you to do you know route debugging camel, but this is not the purpose of this video. Um, Camel JBang is an awesome tool, quickly to use from the terminal. We use it ourselves, but it's also something that we want to promote to the Camel community to see that it can be a really good tool, a powerful u tool for you as well to use for quickly building prototypes, trying out stuff and whatnot. So this is an exciting new feature with the debug. So uh, give it a try. Feedback is most welcome, and it works with also Java, XML. There's a little issue with the Groovy DSL, so that uh, shouldn't that doesn't work. But maybe we can try to fix that in the future. But most people are just using Java, XML, and YAML, so the three main ones are fully supported. And you can even you know have mixed routes, so some are in YAML, some are in XML, and some are Java, and they can all run together, and the debugger will step into the different source codes so you don't have to say oh this only works with this DSL or not no, it works with them all okay so that's it take care bye